Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, I get so many questions that what are the best affordable options in Canada for sunscreens? As you guys know that sunscreen is so, so, so important. Every dermatologist will tell you that apply sunscreen, you will save yourself from damaging your skin later on. And you actually damage your skin mostly in your 20s and it will show later in the age. Even my mom is showing up all these uh, hyperpigmentations like here and there. Those are all sunspots. She never applied sunscreen to be honest. And I'm like, oh my God, that's why moms get all these dark spots later in the 50s. And now I keep on telling her, mom, apply sunscreen. Mom, apply sunscreen. And she's like, oh, it's so hot. It's sweating here. The sunscreen is gonna go away. She's still not applying it. Anyway, for you all ladies who are watching, I would highly recommend to please apply sunscreen guys but the problem is which is a good sunscreen it's really hard to find I'll be honest with my journey what's going on is uh, I live in Canada and whenever I search on YouTube best sunscreens best sunscreen most of the people are not in Canada and they're giving all these good sunscreen options which I have also purchased they come through shipping I have to pay sometimes customs they're coming from US or something so or I'm ordering from Amazon and the dermatologist that I follow on YouTube uh, they don't live in Canada and they keep on referring to sunscreens that are available in US or UK and Korean sunscreens to be honest and I was like there has to be good sunscreens in Canada as well so I'm gonna take you along show you what options do we have here so let's see which is a good option for us if we go to shoppers drug mart and which one we should pick Going to the shoppers that is in Surrey, which is right next to a Skytrain station and it's called Gateway Station. Anybody, a student who lives in Surrey, uh, they can also check it out. It's close to Skytrain station. Let's go. La Roche Posay. This is a really good sunscreen option, guys. And this one is non-mineral and this one is a mineral sunscreen. This is for fluid, for body, UVB, UVA, it's water resistant 80, 80 minutes, 100% mineral sunscreen. I don't know why they don't have the amount. Okay, so this one is $16.89, the body one this one i have to ask them okay so this is a tinted sunscreen mineral 50 spf and this is a non-tinted i believe this is a chemical sunscreen and this one is for face so these are also for face let's see uva uvb i can't read the ingredients but this one seems like it's a chemical sunscreen and it's a gel cream sounds pretty promising i feel like i would buy this one so the next option that you get at shoppers are vichy i think at shoppers like you can test it out if it doesn't suit you you don't need to commit to it okay so this is 60 uh, spf uvb uva and it's a matte sunscreen which i look for because i recently got to know that i have a combination skin so this one is for 26 dollars and 89 cents and you're only getting 50 ml quite expensive guys i'm not gonna lie but let's test it out just a tiny bit let's see No white cast. Nice. I like it. I actually really like this one. This is for $26.89 or $23.89. I'll ask them. Pretty sure it's a chemical sunscreen and de shine dry touch. Nice. Vichy also have a stick one and this is for $17.89. 
Oh, got it. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. So, guy, I asked the customer service that what's the return policy of the store because you know you want to try out and see what works for your skin or not. So she told me like these high-end ones, kind of La Roche Posay and Vichy, they are to be considered as high-end. So you can try it out, test it out, and return in within seven days in Canada. And the other ones, let's say Neutrogena, Garnier. L'Oreal, no, you can't return it. Once you use it, you have to keep it, unfortunately. Alrighty, here are the other options, guys. Let's see. So for the face one, I've heard that this one is really good one, but I haven't tried. My friend uses it, it's good. And it is for $21.99. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost, this one is a water gel lotion sunscreen and this is for $21.99 as well. I used to use this one a lot but I think I got a breakout from this one. Garnier 60 and this is for $17.99 today. Mineral Ultra Sheer Stick for body and face 50 SPF for $23.99. This one is a uh, chemical sunscreen and this one is mineral sunscreen, $24.99. We have Think Baby as well, $50 and it's for $22.99. Ready, Neutrogena. Guys, these guys have done quite a bit of research. So if any Neutrogena sunscreen that suits you, keep on using it. This is the 45. SPF Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. People use this one quite often and this is for $21.99. Then you get the Life Brand sunscreens. This is for $10.49. I have never used this one, so I don't know how it performs. So this is by Sunthera. This is good for body for sure. It's water resistant, sweat and water resistant, 80 minutes. Pretty reasonable, $11.99. Right, Sunbum. This is also another SPF, uh, which is good for skin, I think. We'll check it out later. And this is for $23.99. Banana Boat. I've used this one on body. And this is for $16.99. Body Mist to reapply all over the body. It's a really nice one. $21.99. I get it from Costco. Uh, Sunbum 50 SPF. This is probably for body. Um, and this is for $22.99. Let's see the ingredients. There's one ingredient that they say irritates your eyes. So I'm looking for that. It's not here. Yeah. Let's see the ingredients of this one as well. Like what's the difference between the body and the face? Actually, there's no difference. Check this out. The active ingredients are the same, exact same. So if the body one works on your face, you don't need to get this one. This is for 88 ml and this is 177 ml. Uh, spray is also for $23.99. Right, after this shelf, let's move on to the top one. Okay, Hawaiian. I genuinely really like this sunscreen, guys. I'm not gonna kid you. I have applied this sunscreen on my face too. Whenever I run out of the face sunscreens, I sometimes do apply this one, but it's really nice for the body. The only downside of this one is that they had the reputation that one time they called out all their sunscreens. I, I can't remember the exact story, so their sunscreens were tested and it was uh, turned out to be only two, two uh, SPF, that's it. After that, they have like, you know, improved their formula and hopefully what they're saying is true. It is SPF 50, but I really, really enjoy the sunscreen. I use it, my husband uses it, and this is only for $13.59. Since it's a chemical sunscreen, it does irritate the eye area sometimes. My husband always complains me, oh, the sunscreen is getting in my eye. So it's better to apply a mineral sunscreen on your eye area and then the rest you can apply this one. Then you get the Banana Boat and uh, Garnier, $17.99. This is also another Garnier, $29.99. And for SPF 60, for SPF 45, uh, Garnier Dry Touches for $17.99. All right, these are the only options, guys.
Ooh. How many options here? This pile has many options. Let's see. They got the Think Baby, $22.99, $36.99. Active ingredient is zinc oxide. That means it's a mineral sunscreen. Yeah, zinc oxide. All right. Their stick is for $14.99. Okay, here they have the Aveeno 50 SPF. This is probably chemical sunscreen. Let's see. Ingredients. Yeah, I don't see zinc oxide, so it's a chemical sunscreen. And this one is for $21.99 today. They got sunscreen lip balms as well. They say that do apply a SPF on your lips too because your lips also get damaged. And this lip balm is for $5.29. All right, this is another Australian sunscreen um, that is available in Canada, which is Blue Lizard. I have never tried this, and I haven't seen a lot of people talking about this. So if any of my subscribers use this, um, let me know if it's good or not. This one is a face sheer lotion, and it's for $21.99. 50 SPF <laughs> and this is for body same price let's see what the active ingredients are oh it's a mineral sunscreen yeah zinc oxide there's another sunscreen company which I haven't heard about attitude SPF 50 mineral sunscreen unscented tropical and what's this one let's see oh it's a sunscreen stick this is their lip balm, I believe, and it's for $5.59. Ready, Neutrogena. Here is Neutrogena. This is a new one, Invisible Daily, SPF 50, $24.99. Looking at the ingredients, I can tell that this is also a chemical sunscreen. This is their mineral sunscreen. Looks like this is a new packaging, and it's for $21.99. Lightweight, clean feel, 100% mineral. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, 6.6% zinc oxide, 18%. Nice. Body mist range from $21.99 as well. And this one, Hydro Boost. This is a 60 SPF, ultra sheer, ultra sheer, but that one is dry touch. This one is not. Reapply Sun Balm stick is good. $16.49. Here comes another one which I haven't heard about. Green Beaver Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50 Broad Spectrum. Reef friendly. There's another term that all the dermatologists use. And this sunscreen is also for $21.59. Zinc oxide 8%, titanium dioxide 8%. All right, coming back to Hawaiian, what else do they have? They got the Weightless Mineral Lotion as well, SPF 30. And this is for $17.99 after discount $14.39. Face, Weightless Mineral Face, uh, $17.99. Let's see the difference. Active ingredients, zinc oxide, 6%, titanium dioxide, 4.3%. Zinc oxide 6%, titanium dioxide 4.3%. So ingredients are the same. If uh, this one suits you, you can also get this one. And you get double the amount, 50 ml, 100 ml. This is another Hawaiian face with less, uh, this is probably not mineral, so let's see. Yeah, this is a chemical sunscreen, $17.99. And this is the body. Uh, sunscreen the small version in the tube and this is for only $7.99 if you get the option 30 or 50 I would say use 50 it's the same price today it's like $13.59 yeah this is another one which is hydration weightless sunscreen from by Hawaiian $14.39 today else it is $17.99 it will probably be more hydrating and uh, not for oily skin and this one looks like it's also chemical sunscreen yes it is when there's no zinc oxide that means it's not a mineral sunscreen bondi sand has good sunscreens as well but 
I don't see it here in Canada. So guys, these were all the options of sunscreens at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. For myself, I have chosen La Roche-Posay. I haven't tried this out, so I'm gonna go test it out at home. This one I can return, I have seven days. I will see if it works on my skin or not. It's a gel cream sunscreen. So this is what I was looking for myself. The one that I'm currently using is from India and I cannot find that one. This one costed me $35.79. So it's expensive than a drugstore sunscreen. So now you have seen all the sunscreen options that are available at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. Out of all, I would say for face, try the Neutrogena one if it works for your skin, mineral or chemical. They both are really good. Neutrogena has done a lot of research. They have tested out their sunscreens. So if it suits you, I would recommend that one and if you want to try out Hawaiian uh, the only take like I would say is their history that's the only issue that's it but else I enjoy the Hawaiian a lot a lot and the second option that I would choose out of all would be Aveeno Aveeno is another really nice brand I have tried out Aveeno as well it works great under makeup too. The one that I tested for Vichy, uh, I tested it here. My skin feels dry. If my hand is feeling dry, my face would obviously feel dry as well. So I would pass the Vichy. Most of the sunscreens that dermatologists on YouTube suggest, unfortunately, they're not available uh, at drugstore. I will be trying out London Drugs as well. We'll see in another video what options do they have these were all the options i hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did please do not forget to hit the like button subscribe my channel in the next video i will share my reviews about this new spf that i got from la roche posay